I've ever wondered how those stunning 3D graphics and video games, augmented reality and virtual reality come to life. Well, there's a digital currency that's revolutionizing this space. Render, token, or RNDR. But what's the buzz all about? What's died in? And so, what is Render Crypto? RNDR powers a decentralized platform that transforms the rendering process, making high-quality 3D graphics more accessible. Users who contribute rendering jobs to the network earn RNDR tokens as rewards. This distributed network for rendering power operates on the Ethereum blockchain, providing a secure and efficient platform for users to participate in. Why should you care about RNDR? RNDR enables users to utilize GPU capacity that would otherwise go and use, addressing the growing need for high quality 3D graphics. By joining the RNDR network, users submit their rendering retasks and receive RNDR tokens as compensation upon completion. This approach ensures that resources are distributed fairly and effectively throughout the network. Uh, but what about the future of R&DR? Analysts expect R&DR to witness significant price hikes in the near future, with estimates reaching $25.76 by the end of July 2024 and $47.15 by 2025. Longer term estimates indicate that R&DR prices should fall between $25 and $3 and 40 cents by 2030, representing a potential increase of 298.66%. Uh, what factors influence RDR's price, um, market trends, adoption, and technology developments, investor attitudes, and technical measures all impact RDR's price. Favorable market trends, increased adoption, and bullish investor sentiment contribute to a positive outlook, while competition and implementation challenges present risks. Uh, so to buy or not to buy um, R&DR, uh, so investing in R&DR involves significant risk with competition and adoption being key concerns. However, positive changes such as the adoption of the Solana blockchain and ongoing advancements in the render network support its growth potential. Ultimately, the decision to invest in R&DR depends on the individual's risk tolerance and market analysis. And now, for a little joke, why don't cryptocurrencies ever go to parties? Because they're afraid of inflation. And with that said, thanks for watching and, and stay tuned for more.